Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video I'm going to be trying out another Avon quad palette. So let's get started. First of all I always start with the headband. So this is a cat ear headband which is made of good quality plastic and it has little teeth on the inner rim just to keep the band from slipping on your hair. But in this case I'll be using it on my hijab just to keep the hijab in place. Then I'm going to use a big flat brush to press and gently tap on the concealer that I've already applied. Then using a smaller flat brush, just tap into the areas of the eyes that are hard to reach with the bigger flat brush. To set the concealer, I am using Avon's Ideal Flawless Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Fair. Using a slightly elongated angled fluffy brush, dip into the powder generously and apply to the eye area. This pressed powder gives skin a natural, soft and lightly matte finish. I will be trying a new product which are these eyeshadow shields or guards. These are convenient, easy to use, half moon shaped shields which sit comfortably under the eye. The sticker behind is divided so you can just peel the bottom part or the top part or the whole semicircle. This is a hands free design. Just simply press these disposable self adhesive shields to your under eye area and we can start applying our first eyeshadow. So here is that instant miracle eyeshadow product which is known as the True Color Eyeshadow Quad from Avon. This is the back of the packaging. As you can see the back of the packaging has the layout of the palette. One, two, three, four. It has a guide on how to use the eyeshadows and where to place them on the eye. The name of this quad palette from Avon is Khaki Style. These quads come in a classy black casing with Avon inscribed into it. The casing has a mirror inside. So on the palette you can see itself they have the numbers which is one, two, three, four. It comes with a dual sided sponge tip applicator. This is so travel friendly, love it. Let's get acquainted with the shades. Shade number one is a shimmery warm ivory with gold glitter. The shimmery effect is very muted. Shade number two is a shimmery light silver shade with golden flecks. Shade number three is a shimmery khaki green with a slight golden sheen. Shade number four is a shimmery warm charcoal gray with lots of fine silver and gold glitter. Each number tells you where to exactly apply what color to which part of the eye areas and for today's video, I will follow exactly the instruction on the back of the packaging. Your medium colors accent shades will be used to define the basic shape of the eye and for blending from the lightest areas into the darkest areas. Usually these are applied to the main portion of the eyelid and at times the crease. Sweep shade 2 on the lid followed by shade 3 on the crease. At this point your eye makeup will look like a paint by numbers work in progress but a few strokes of a blending brush will up the look instantly. The dark colors you will use for contouring and for creating depth to your eyes. The areas where you apply the darker colors will recede. Darker colors are also used for adding more intensity and drama to your look. For this look, this area will include the outer portion of the eyelid, the outer V, and the lower lash line. Apply shade 4 to these two areas. Next up, I will be using Avon's Mark Artist Gel Pot Eyeliner. This is in the shade Black. Now, it claims to be mess-free, easy-to-apply gel formula, which glides on and it's tug-free finish. And it's also waterproof, which lasts all day. To apply this product, I'll be using a small, stiff, angled brush. After applying this product, my eyes got really irritated and my eyes started watering really bad. My eyes also got really red. The redness went away after a while, but my eyes were still watering a lot. Now I will remove the eyeshadow shield guards to reveal the wing and using makeup remover wipes just to clean up under the eyes. After that, I curled my eyelashes quickly and applied mascara to the upper and lower lashes. Now before filling in the eyebrows, I'm using a spoolie to brush the brows thoroughly. I am just using the spoolie to tame and sweep the brows into place. I will use the same Mark Artist Gel Pot Eyeliner in the shade black to do my brows. So I will use a stiff angled brush to fill in the sparse areas of the brows. Really liking the brush because it is great for control when putting the product on and defining the eyebrow shape. Now for a natural look, just apply the product in angles by following the way your hair is growing. Now the last step is to brush through the brows again to blend color, soften the lines and groom into the perfect shape. Last step is to apply the highlighting shade which is shade 1. To apply that I'm going to be using this pencil brush. 
You will use the light colors to highlight. The areas where you apply these colors will be brought forward. Usually this includes areas like the inner corner of the eye and the brow bone. This is where I apply shade number one from the quad palette. And you're done! Well, kind of. You can keep your eye makeup look as is. You can make your eye makeup look more dramatic by adding just lashes. Or you can make your eye makeup look a little bold by adding a wing. Or you can glamorize your eye makeup look by doing both. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.